Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we have another on-the-go slash appetizer food. It's our version of the real good chicken poppers. We've got more balls coming at you right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Kitas. Kitas. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Kitas, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So today we're going to make our version of the real good chicken poppers. Basically because we didn't think theirs was real good. Yeah. So if you're new to our channel, we recently reviewed these and I will leave a link to that video right over my head if you haven't seen that. But when we reviewed them, you know, yes, we kind of went in there thinking they were going to be more like a jalapeno popper. Mm -hmm. We knew they weren't like your traditional one, like a jalapeno stuffed with cheese but we kind of thought they were going to be like poppers. Now I will say that they looked like a jalapeno popper, like visually. Right. And our recipe today that we're going to make looks more like balls. Oh my gosh, here we go. Another recipe with a bunch of balls comments. Balls. Haven't you learned your lesson yet? Balls. <laughs> So again, one of the things that we didn't like about these is when you look at this box, if you can see it in the video, it looks like they're stuffed with cream cheese. And when we cracked them open, there wasn't anything in them. There was barely anything in them at all. And the taste was so mild. We even put it to the Caleb test. Yeah. And he's a mild guy. And he's like, I taste nothing, barely any even cheese. Yeah. So we knew it was, I mean, there was no jalapeno flavor. And we have three boxes of these, so they are eating them. I mean, they're edible, but I think you're going to like ours a lot better. And Ours are a lot cheaper because these were $5 a box and I think you only got nine of them total. Yeah, so even though they're not our favorite thing, we paid $5 a box for them, so we're eating them. Yeah. It's happening. So you're ready to get into this recipe? I am. Okay, so I've done a little bit of prep work to help us a little bit. Because jalapenos. Because jalapenos, but let's go over what you're going to need. So the first thing you're going to need is some chicken. So we're gonna use ground chicken. Okay. You've got about one and a half pounds. You can go one and a half to two pounds depending on how much chicken you wanna use. Now, we actually grind our own because what we found was ground chicken, when you go to the store and buy it, was a lot more money than just buying boneless, skinless chicken breast. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, so we actually went to Sprouts and they had boneless, skinless chicken breast, organic, without any of the hormones. It wasn't injected with a bunch of antibiotics. For $87 a pound. $1.99 a pound. And the chicken breasts were huge and they weren't even injected. Like a lot of times they inject them with broth to make them look bigger. Yeah. They weren't. So we actually have, if I can find it, it's right here. We got one of these on um, Prime Day. I've got to say it. What? Breasts. Like everything you just said was a, that's what she said. Talking <laughs> about breasts. Can we move on? Yeah. Okay, so we got this on Amazon. I'm gonna leave a link down below. If you have a KitchenAid, this is a piece that goes with it. Mm -hmm. It comes with the sausage stuffing things. It comes with a bunch of like blades and everything. And it's still only like $25. Which is amazing when you put KitchenAid with that name. Yeah, because now it's not made by KitchenAid. Expensive. It's made by a company called Antry, but it works really well. My only complaint with this particular one, it didn't come with a stuffer. So you oh. can use anything you have in your house though. Don't use your finger. No, don't use your finger, but it's only a plastic inside, see? Okay. Still would hurt. <laughs> okay, so anyway, we <laughs> bought um, we bought some just regular boneless, skinless chicken breast. We ground up about a pound and a half of it, and that's what we have here. So that's the main ingredient. I'm gonna put this to the side. Then we need some Parmesan cheese. Parmesan. Okay. Then we need, and this is all for the outside part, we need some salt. We use Redmond Real Salt. Real salt. We need some gar garlic powder and some onion powder. Yum. Okay, and let's push all of this stuff to the side so that we have a lot of room. Now for the filling, we're gonna use cream cheese. Yum. We're gonna use cheddar cheese. And we're gonna use a jalapeno. Ooh, 
It looks so innocent. Yes. Doesn't it? I mean, but this could make you cry in like 10 seconds. Right? Now, you, depending on how spicy you want, you can use a half a jalapeno. You can use a whole jalapeno. You can use two jalapenos. It just depends on how spicy you want. You can have it get jalapeno in your business. And you can also make this recipe without having any jalapeno and just have chicken stuffed with cheese and cream cheese. You can even put broccoli. Any, whatever you can think of that you want to put inside there, it's going to work the same. I like that you can just roll right through my corny jokes. <laughs> so let's push everything to the side so it's not in the shot. And we're going to start off. We're going to start with the filling. Okay. okay so we're going to take a bowl. All right. And you're going to take your cream cheese and you're going to dump it in there. Now, before we even get started, we're working with jalapenos. Uh-oh. And I have learned my lesson. I'm going to take my, my ring off and everything. I actually haven't learned my lesson, but we're going to wear gloves. Because I have a tendency of cutting up jalapenos. And then wiping your eye. And then touching my face. So we've got these nice pink ones. I got these on Amazon. They were the cheapest and they happen to be pink too. So you really like it. Fun. Uh, but uh, these are food grade gloves. So we're going to wear these because we're working with the jalapenos. When you do work with them, just make sure you don't touch your face. And like, I still have not learned my lesson. Somebody actually said in our Facebook group, like, make sure you don't touch your face. Uh, too late done it every time I've made this recipe so far. I touched my face. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And to make things a little bit easier and so that you don't touch your face by accident, I've already chopped up our jalapenos. This is one jalapeno. And uh, we just want it nice and finely chopped. Okay, so we're gonna put that in there. I like the smell of jalapenos. I like the flavor of jalapenos. Now, mm. when you do do it, cut, like, cut the top off remove the seeds and like I rinse out all the seeds because the seeds are where all the heat is Ooh. and then finally chop it up. And then last thing you're going to need is you're going to need an, a healthy half a cup of um, shredded cheddar cheese. Is that it? That's perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now you can use an egg beater or whatever you want with this or a wooden spoon, but you want to have the cream cheese like come right out of the refrigerator. You don't want this cream cheese softened. Really? Because otherwise you're going to have a hard time stuffing the chicken. Okay. So I found the best way to do this. Just get your hands in there and you're going to combine everything really well. Nice. I would say this is a kid project, but probably no. Because no, jalapenos. not with jalapenos. Do not let your kids play with jalapenos. <laughs> Although they're probably smarter than me and won't touch their face. Yeah, probably, but yeah. The first rule of parenting, don't let the kids play with jalapenos. While you're doing that, I'm gonna get us ready over here. This looks like one of those like cheese balls that you have for Christmas. Yeah. Now all you wanna do here is just incorporate everything so that like every bite of cream cheese has some cheddar cheese in it. It has some jalapeno in it. I think I've done a and good And it's job. kind of like playing with Play-Doh. It is. It's like super fun. Yeah, I just kind of knead it around in my hand like that. Because it's cold, I'm not losing a bunch of it. Oop, I just flicked some. You're flicking a lot. Sorry. Are you ready? I am. You think you're good? I think so. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're, this recipe is going to make 12... Balls. Balls. Okay? So we're going to divide this into 12 equal portions. And I found the best thing to do is... You, it, it'll measure out to exactly 12 tablespoons. Oh, all right. Okay, so you can just kind of put it in there. Use your tablespoon. Okay, you can make, you don't have to do it like that. Just kind of like scoop it in oh, okay. and then take it out like this. Uh -huh. And I'll let you do that. And we're going to take that and we're going to roll it into a ball. ball. And we're going to place it on a piece of parchment paper. And I'll show you why in a minute. Now, again, you don't have to use the measuring spoon. But again, I'm trying to get all have... your balls the same. <laughs> To have all the balls the same. You don't want to have one ball bigger than the other. That would be tragic. <laughs> but I'm trying to make sure that we know exactly the, the exact macros on each one because we are in our reverse diet and we're trying to track our macros perfectly. If you don't mind one of the balls being a lot bigger than the other, that's fine. It's up to you. How do you like your balls? The last recipe we did, they were giant balls and these are tiny balls. Yeah, but this is only the stuffing. So you're saying that they will get bigger? Yes. Okay. Just be patient. I can't wait to see the comments on this video. <laughs> Look, I almost touched my face already. <laughs> Am I in the ball park for as many balls? Like, how many are you trying to make? 12? 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. By the way, we did not say that this is a so easy Rachel can make it recipe. Because it is a little bit more um, entailed. 
Yeah. Is the right word, I guess. But, I mean, it is a super easy recipe to make. It just, yeah. it takes a little bit of time. There's a few extra steps for this. It's so easy. Even Rachel can help. <laughs> How about that? Okay, so now that we've got our 12, like, cream cheese balls. Balls. We're going to take these. Now, this step is optional, but I'm telling you, it's going to make your life so easy. We're going to take this, and we're going to go put it in the freezer and try to get them, like, as frozen as possible. Huh. So you can do this way ahead of time, or you can just stick it in there and let it sit in there for an hour. I've made it without doing this. The only reason I like doing it with putting them in the freezer is because what happens is, is when they're cooking, you won't get all of the cheese trying to ooze out from the chicken. And nice. also makes it easier to form the chicken around the balls. balls. Okay, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna take this and then we're gonna start in on the chicken. While I'm doing that, I'll let you do that. Okay. Here's your teaspoon measures. You're gonna start off with a half a teaspoon of onion powder and a teaspoon of garlic powder. Yeah, I really like the pink ones. They're super cute. Okay, you ready? Yes. You're gonna go two teaspoons of salt. Nice. This Redmond real salt is so good. I always love seeing the little like brown specks in it. I cannot wait until we go to Keto Salt Lake next year uh -huh. and we can go and tour the mine in Utah. I'm super excited about that. Lastly, we're gonna use our uh, Parmesan cheese. I've already pre-measured it out. It's a third of a cup. Neat. So we're gonna go ahead and dump that in there. And now we're just gonna mix it all up. With your hands. Now I've tried this with almond flour. It worked with almond flour, but I like the Parmesan better. The Parmesan, first of all, is lower carb than almond flour. Right. It also gives it, the Parmesan gives it a better flavor. And I found the Parmesan cheese helps absorb some of that moisture from the chicken. So you're gonna see as you're moving around, it, the chicken's gonna almost start drying out yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that's weird. So when I first did it with almond flour, I was like, oh, I need more because you're trying to get that binder. Right. The, the Parmesan cheese worked really well. Plus, if you look at the box, Parmesan cheese is one of their ingredients. Oh, wow. So pretty much we have the same exact ingredients as theirs. The only difference is, is they used mozzarella cheese and we're using cheddar cheese. Now, if you find it's a little bit too wet, you could add a little bit more Parmesan cheese. It's, it's completely up to you. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna move into the next part and this is the part that makes Joe look a little... Anal? I was trying not to say that word, but yes, anal. We're going to measure out. Merry Christmas, by the way. Oh yeah, Merry Christmas. We only, all of our paper plates are either Halloween or Christmas because we buy them the day after. Okay, so we're going to measure out this into 12 equal. Balls. Balls, okay. So we're first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna weigh out how much we have, which I believe this is about 650 grams, if I remember right. 645 grams. Oh so, but if, if you took all that little stuff out, it's gonna be about 650 grams. Probably have the rest of it on my gloves. On your gloves. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure this out and it shouldn't be, each one's gonna be about 55 grams. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to, we have our scale here. And again, if you don't wanna be this exact, that's fine. But we're just going to roughly measure out 12 equal pieces at 55 grams. You mean 12 equal balls? Yes. I'm trying to be like clean here. And since this part is a little tedious, we're gonna fast forward through it. So now that we have the meat divided into 12 equal portions, Balls. we can, are you done? No. <laughs> okay, we're, we have it divided into 12 equal balls. balls. I'm gonna go grab the cream cheese balls, balls out of the freezer. Okay, so now we have the cream cheese balls. They're balls. all like this. Mm -hmm. And what we're gonna do is we're simply going to basically wrap the chicken around each one and we have the air fryer preheating and so we're going to end up using the air fryer 380 degrees it's going to be about 12 minutes for each one uh, but i'm going to grab another plate here so we can do that we're, again we're using paper plates you can use wax paper i am really glad we have gloves for this this is an awesome recipe it's tasty but it is messy yeah so all you're going to do is just take one of your cream cheese balls balls and you're just basically going to mold the chicken around it and then form a meatball. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And this is again why you want to like pre-freeze uh, that cream cheese. So that as it So that, yeah, cooks. otherwise if the cream cheese is starting to melt and soften, it's gonna become a lot harder to work with. Really so I'll put this here and we'll both do them together. So just kind of stuff it in the middle and you, you wanna try to have equal amount of chicken around each ball, each cream cheese ball. So all I do is I kinda of like put it in my hand and I kinda of press it in and then just start molding it around it. Again, it's like playing with Play-Doh. Yeah, which I love. 
One of my favorite things on earth. Now you could do this with like ground beef or another kind of meat, but again, we're trying to completely duplicate, yeah. you know, the, uh, the real good one, but you could do this with like, you know, make meatballs, sausage. like stuffed meatballs or yeah. stuffed sausage balls. Oh yeah, this is awesome. That'd be awesome. This is a great appetizer for upcoming holiday parties. It's a great appetizer. It's also just a really good on the go food because you can grab them. You know, it, it's something that works really well where you can just kind of meal prep them, have them sitting in the refrigerator. If one of the kids wants something like, hey, I need a snack, you know, it'll be right there for them to eat it. Yeah. You can also freeze them. They will freeze. They after will freeze them. very well. Well, it makes sense because the real good ones come frozen. I'm right on the last one. And our air fryer is done preheating. Perfect timing. So we got our air fryer and we're just going to simply place all of the balls. balls into the air fryer. And I usually do this in a couple of batches just because I want the air to be able to circulate around the balls. Balls. <laughs> now you've got me saying it. We could yeah. probably fit them all in there if you really wanted to. I want them to be aired out properly. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just do six so that we have plenty of air circulating around there, but you could probably fit them all in there or at least nine of them. Okay, we're gonna go in the air fryer, 380 degrees for 12 minutes. Okay. Okay, first batch is out of the air fryer. This is what we have without having them roll all over the place. Balls. Balls. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so let's take one of these and we're gonna cut it and show you it's got like such a nice crispy thing on the outside. And it's oozy in the middle. Look at that. If it's not blown out, but look at, I'm actually gonna do this. I'll just eat that one. Look at that. Look at how the cheese is just oozing out. Just okay. what you want in like a popper. Okay, you ready to try this? Let's dink it. Dink. Mmm. Jalapeno taste instantly. Not like the one that's gonna burn your face off, but a jalapeno taste, like the good part of the jalapeno. Yeah. No, it's not spicy. No. It's just got that jalapeno flavor in it. Oh my goodness. Now again, the cheese, we, these just came out of the air fryer. So They're the great. cheese is just like oozing. But it's pure chicken. It's got just, just enough seasoning. It's not like overdoing the seasoning. No, it's really flavorful. I mean, I know I created this recipe, but I, I'm really proud of this one. It's really good. It's mm. really, really good. I mean, I don't know if you can see. I mean, it's just full of oozy goodness. Mmm. And we have another batch of balls <laughs> cooking, which makes me really happy. So let's go over the macros on these. Oh wait, before we go on to the macros, I did want to say, so everybody's air fryer is going to be a little bit different. So yeah. I tell you 12 minutes, but this is about what you want them to look like when they come out. They should be like that golden color. Yeah. Don't overcook them. Otherwise the meat's going to be kind of chewy and not, this is perfect. It gives you just the right amount of tenderness. So if you have to bump it up to like 13 or 14 minutes, just keep your eye on it as you're going along. These are perfectly tender balls. <laughs> So let's go over the macros. So if you follow the directions the way I put it, we used a pound and a half of ground chicken mm -hmm. um, using obviously whatever brands of cream cheese you're gonna use and stuff like that. Based on what we used, it comes out to with 12 balls, awesome. 121 calories for each one. Each ball. Six total grams of fat. It is 15 grams of, of protein. So they are higher in protein. It's working out to be about a 50-50 ratio. But it's totally made out of chicken, so. Right. It's like saying beef jerky's got a lot of protein but in But it's it. still a 50-50 ratio. So you're 50% protein, 50% fat. So you're still in decent keto macros. You know, maybe get your, take some mayonnaise, make like a dipping sauce, like a ranch dipping sauce, dip oh, it in yeah. there. You're really gonna up the fat that way. And here's the best part. One carb, one total carb for each ball. Oh my goodness. I don't, I can't stand saying ball. Can we just say they're balls. poppers? No, they're balls. So, so this yeah. This is a ball. <laughs> and these are two balls. So 121 calories, six grams of fat, 15 grams of protein, and one total carb for each one. 
Nice. So those are incredible keto macros. I'm super excited about this. And here's the best part. It's a fraction of the cost of buying the ones from Real Good. How much money do you think you got in this? Probably, I would say 350 at tops, $4 but you're getting 12 of them. So you're, 12. you're getting 12 of them, much better ingredients, and you probably have about double or even triple the amount of food that you had buying the real good version. Well, and the flavor. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's not like forget the fact that it tastes way better yeah. than the other ones. Well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if you make these. Also, let us know what other appetizers you'd like us to try to make keto. Balls. <laughs> What other balls could we make? We will find out. So, well, do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we have a new balls recipe, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.